Welcome to my presentation for GCSE Options Evening. Over the next five minutes, I'm going to explain all about the study of GCSE history, why it's a fantastic subject to pick, and then some details about the topics that we study. My name is Mr. Warner Meanwell, and I'm one of the history teachers here at Fairfield. So at Fairfield, we study AQA's GCSE history specification. It's split into two papers. Paper one is called Understanding the Modern World. We studied the content for that in year 10. There are two sections. We begin in America in 1920, and our study goes all the way until 1973. And then the sec second section, section B, is called Conflict and Tension in Asia, which is a study of the Korean War and then the Vietnam War as well. Paper two, we sp usually begin studying towards the end of year 10 and the beginning of year 11. Paper two is called Shaping the Nation. And again, it's split into two sections. Section A is called Britain, Health and the People. It's a 1000 year study of medicine and public health in Britain. And then section B is Elizabethan England and is a study of Queen Elizabeth I reign in Tudor times. I'll give detail about each of the different topics that we study. So paper one on America between 1920 and 1973 is split into three sections. Part one is American people in the boom. So we examined American society during the 1920s, a time where for some people they had great prosperity. America was very wealthy, but we also examined the inequalities of that wealth as well. It's a time of greater freedom for uh, urban women, women living in the cities who were rich, but we also examined the lives of people living in rural areas and farmers and how their lives were not as good. We then look at Americans' experience of the Great Depression during the 1930s and their recovery under the New Deal. And then finally, we have a look at post-war America and the civil rights movement. So we take into account the work of people like Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, Malcolm X, groups like the Black Panthers. And then we also examine some of the key changes in American society to do with civil rights, but also the rise of feminism in the 1970s. We then zoom out and have a look at America's relationship around the world with communism during the Cold War. And we have a look at one very short conflict, the war in Korea, and then a much longer conflict in Vietnam. So there are two parts on the Vietnam War as well. And it's as much about the people and about American society as it is about the war itself. In terms of paper two, we then do a study of Britain between the year 1000 to the present day. And we look at four parts where medicine stands still, how it begins to change, goes through a revolution and then leads into modern medicine. So that really is, is very, very uh, interesting, particularly with everything to do with COVID at the moment and all the talks about vaccination. And then our final study is on Elizabethan England. So we again look at four parts. We start by looking at her court and her parliament and how she arranged her government. We look at what it was like to live in these times, the troubles she had at home and abroad and her relationship with Catholic countries around Europe and including the Spanish Armada. And then the final part is called the historic environment that changes every year. And we study a place related to Elizabeth's reign. So we study a really broad variety of topics um, and I hope that you, you, you think they'll be really interesting. We find them really interesting to teach. So how are you assessed? Well, as I said already, there are two papers. Each of them are assessed at the end of year 11 um, and they are pure, purely exam. So all of your assessment is done on exam in this subject. Paper one, you have two hours to complete and that's worth 50% of your GCSE grade. And it's exactly the same for paper two, another two hours, 50% of your GCSE grade. So it's all exam based, no coursework. Why study GCSE history? Um, as history teachers, we think that history is an absolutely fantastic subject to study. Um, and as it says on the screen there, history helps us to understand change and how the society we, we live in came to be. The past causes the present and so the future. We really feel that understanding history helps you understand where we've come from and where we're going as society and as, a, as the human race. It builds your ability to assess and to analyse and use evidence to understand different points of view and why people did different things, um, but also the ability to build a really convincing argument and express yourself properly. In terms of post-16 links and career opportunities um, for your A-levels, it opens the door to study history A-level or law, um, politics, economics, English literature, even things like classical civilizations and philosophy and ethics. And in terms of career, anything really where you are, you are writing or expressing yourself, so politics, journalism, working in the media, teaching, fantastic job, um, and then also things more history-based such as archaeology, uh, museum creation as well. Finally then, frequently asked questions. Um, we are often asked, is there a lot of writing in GCSE history? Yes, there is. There is a lot of writing. Um, the exam questions range from four markers, which require one paragraph, all the way through to 16 markers that require four paragraphs. We work really hard as your teachers, though, not just to teach you the things you need to know, but also how you go about writing extended pieces in a really good academic style. We focus a lot on vocabulary. We focus a lot on writing paragraphs together so that your writing improves as a result. Next question that comes up a lot, 
how will I remember everything? Uh, we have a fantastic structure for helping you remember small chunks of information over a long period of time. We use knowledge organisers and quiz questions, um, and we will really help you to develop your revision style so that you can remember everything going into your exam. The final question, should I be preparing in year nine for GCSE history? Well, absolutely, you should be. All of the skills um, that we teach you in year nine in your history lessons are skills that are directly useful to your GCSE. In terms of content, in terms uh, five and six of GCSE history, we will study things that will then help you have an understanding of what America was like in the years before our first unit. So work really, really hard in year nine, and then you'll be set up for a fantastic GCSE history study. If you have any further questions, please feel free to email your history teacher or come and speak to us in person in school. Thanks a lot for listening.